work. Yeah. And so really the, the, the two first things you want to do is the custom conversion that's around the thank you page, right? And then right away you go set up a custom audience, which is what we did um, yesterday. We set up the custom audience around the, in fact, click on the three lines and go to audiences. So we set up the custom audience around the opt-in page and then, and then also the thank you page. So remember from this point on, this is what it's all about is your custom audiences. There'll be audiences that you include in your targeting, and then there'll be audiences that you exclude from your targeting for, for, for every ad from this point on. So, so for example, tomorrow, or no, not tomorrow necessarily, but the very next ad. So let's call today, let's call this ad one. Ad number two, whenever that does go out next week, next month, whenever, you're always going from ad number two and on, you always want to retarget page visitors and any and any custom audiences that you build around videos. So, so if you put out a video, if you start putting out more videos, start creating audiences around 15 second viewers and always retarget that audience. Always retarget your video viewers, always retarget your web page visitors only. And then, and then once you start capturing leads, the very next ad and that point from that point on, you'll always exclude your leads. You'll always exclude the leads. Okay. So whether that's seller guide leads, whether it's listing leads, open house leads, you'll always want to exclude that specific audience um, because they don't need to keep seeing your ads. If anything, you can always shoot them an email. Right. So if you're already a lead on a listing or already a lead on an open house or already a lead on a seller guide lead, I'll exclude you rather than showing you an ad and spending money on that. And I'll rather, I'd rather just email you that post or email you that information, right? Because I already have your, I already have your info. So, so audiences is what it's all about. So we're good there. So now three lines in the top left, and then let's go to the ads manager. So um, I'm sorry. Uh, three, uh, yeah. Three lines and then ads manager. Yeah. Perfect. So now over here, We'll just set up a, a conversions ad. So from this point on, it's 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 conversions, which you want to shoot for. So hit the green um, button and then um, we'll go from there. So right here, you'll always want to make sure you're in the right account, which which you are right there in the top, Sky Lemons Real Estate. Yeah, go ahead and click that green one. And then as you open up this, we're going to go with... Um, see this is a whole new layout so these are facebook what they really did is they condensed they condensed it and just narrowed it into just just these few so conversions is actually engagement now so hit hit engagement yeah see so get more get more messages video views post engagements page likes event responses so we'll go with continue and then now it'll bring us over to the next page where in your case you'll always want to go with that drop down categories and you'll always go with housing. And then what you wanna do also is, is get in the habit of, of naming each step. There's three steps. These are the three tabs that, that we went over a few minutes ago. Name each one. So this first one, the first tab is really just choosing the objective, which is, which is engagement. We went with engagement. Um, and then maybe just giving a name to the ad. So this is the campaign tab, title number one name it. So whether it's, it's an image, if it's an image ad, okay, well, what image is that? Like the one you did to the left, you put intro image ad brand awareness. That's very specific, right? You can look at that and know exactly what ad that is. So over here, seller video ad, which video, you know, which, which video was it? Was it you in a car? Was it you outside? Was it you at a whiteboard? Like what, what video was that? You know what I mean? Um, perfect. So seller video ad, um, and then what, what I normally put in parentheses, you can, you can kind of do it, whatever helps you remember, but normally I'll put the objective. So in, in this case, it was engagement. So we went with engagement. So whether that's in parentheses or just maybe dash, but, but maybe just put, put engagement. Perfect. Seller video, whiteboard engagement. Cool. And then housing, that's it. And then you'll leave the United States. We'll narrow it in on the second step, but you can leave that as is, and then just hit next. Okay, cool. We're good there. So we'll go next. And that's step one. So that was the, the tab number one campaign. Now we're on the second tab where we go over the, the, the targeting. We go over um, the, the actual objective, which what you're going to do here is you're going to click on, you're going to click on website. 
go to click on website and then um, see they, they changed. And then in that engagement type, hit that video views, that drop down. Actually, it's not, it's not on your ad. Go, yeah, click on website. This is the new format of, of conversion ads. So you're going to go website and then in the conversion event, that red box, click in there and you'll see your custom conversion. So on this second step, this is the ad set level. We want to name it at the top. We want to give it a title. On this, on this second step is where you put is where you put in your custom conversion, which is the thank you page. So go ahead and yeah, go ahead and either name it first or or hit yeah, right there. Seller What's guide that? leads. Seller guide leads. That's your custom conversion. It's also your custom that. audience. What? It won't let me click that. You can't click that. This conversion event is only available with lead with leads objective. Okay, so then go with Scroll back down real quick. Campaign objective. So before leads was lead generation, which 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 is what we're doing here, but we're running a conversions ad to a lead page. Nor before leads would be using Facebook's lead form. So I guess now they changed it. So let's go with leads and now let's hit next. So you always hit that blue button. And now over here, now hit that, hit that custom there, that, that the conversion event, the red box. Click on that red box. See if you can click it now. There we go. Now we can click it. So it's leads. Okay, cool. So that that was that should just happen like right now. That's a super new update, like literally in the last few minute type of update shit. Like that was never like that. So okay, cool. So now we know. So at the top, name it new engagement ad set. Go ahead and give it a name. This is the second step. So normally what I do in the name is I'll do, I'll do um, no, not seller. Like you already have that at the top. So the name is normally targeting the target. Or, or, and the budget. Yeah, why don't you do that? So wherever you're targeting, whether it's Chicago, wh whatever, put in your city right there and then put maybe the budget, right? And again, what all, what, what's that? What do you think the budget should be? Well, it's, this is now, now it's really time to really lay out the next four weeks and really just look at your overall monthly budget. And then, and then, and then maybe divide that by four or divide that by three or divide that by two whatever the monthly budget is. So for example, if the monthly budget was 500 bucks, okay, cool. Well, or 400 bucks, let's say the month monthly budget's 400 bucks and you're going to, and you plan on running two ads this month. Okay, cool. Well then throw 200 at this one and then 200 at the second. Or if you plan on putting out four ads this month, you know, throw a hundred at this one and, and then, you know, the next three, they get the other hundred. So it's kind of, it's kind of looking at what the overall monthly is and then just dividing it by, by the amount of ads that you're, you're going to test this, this month. Is the lead number going to change? The lead number? Yeah. Yeah. Like you don't, yeah, for sure. That lead, yeah. Lead number, lead numbers are never the same on any, on any business. Really every, every lead is, is going to be a little different. So that's why, that's why, that's why I stress on these custom audiences because that's what it's all about, man. If you keep running new ads every time, you're going to spend the most per lead. If you if you start to retarget warm audiences, you're going to spend less per lead. People are going to start to see you more. So it's it's all about these custom audiences, getting these custom audiences in place so you can continue to 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 decrease or to lower the cost per lead. But in the beginning, in the very beginning, you're going to want to spend. In the very beginning, you don't even know your audience yet. Facebook doesn't even know your audience yet. Like no one even knows you yet. So you can't expect to put out this ad and a shitload of leads are going to come in. No one knows you yet, right? So so it, it all comes down to the beginning, putting money out and just throwing it out. Like you, this is money. And that's why a lot of times people come here and they're like, damn, dude, I'm on my last dollar. It, that's, kind of the, that's kind of the worst position to be in like when it comes to advertising just in general. Because the way you want to look at this is you got to be able to put something in and be willing to blow it. Kind of like going to the casino, bro. Like when, if I ever go to the casino, I got a few hundred that I don't even give a shit about. I'm going to just spend it. I don't even care what happens. That's how you kind of have to look at the first month of this shit where it's like, okay, I got this excess budget. I'm going to throw it out there and get this shit going. And, and so in the very beginning, you kind of want to, you kind of want to spend a little bit. Like, for example, what, what do you think over the next four weeks comfortably, what can we put? I don't care if it's 50 bucks. Like, what is it? Like over the next four weeks, what? I'll put two, two, 300 in it. 300. Okay. So for the next, for the next, for the next four weeks, 
throw 300 at it. So in this case, let's put one and, and let, okay. So that's, that's question number one. Question number two is how many ads, how many ads do you think? Actually, no, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you two. So over the next, over the next four weeks, test two ads. This is ad number one, throw 150 at this one, throw 150 and run it for two weeks and then throw the other 150 for the second ad and run that for two weeks. There's your 300. So, so, so test that. And, and, and again, here, everyone, man, that's how we all are. We're all, we're all about that lead. And, and that's your business. That's my business. It's, it's, it's a lot of our businesses, right? It's all about that freaking lead. But what you have to really take, in, take into consideration and really, really understand is the fact that it's not all about the lead. Like what we're paying for here really is the data. What we're really paying for is the exposure and the data, because what's going to also come out of this, not just leads, what's also going to come out of it is all the viewers of a video or all the engagement of an ad and all that data that you're going to now have in your custom audience that you're going to be, be able to leverage in the future. So it's not just paying for a lead, it's paying for the actual data. That's what it's all about. That's these custom audiences. So run this, yeah, set the calendar for two weeks. And then, so you named it at the top, you gave it a little title, the 150 Chicago 150 right here. This is where we actually put the 150. So, so don't go daily, go lifetime. So hit the drop down for daily and go, go lifetime. Yeah, just hit that. Yeah, hit that drop down, go lifetime. And then um, change that to 150 and then just set the calendar. So when you set the calendar, it's always, it, we, we always want to start at the next day. And the reason for it is to give Facebook enough time, which are, which is really several hours, five, six, seven hours to review it and approve it. And then it goes live. So it's always the next day at, at, at 6 AM your time. And then, and then run this. Yeah. Let it run for two weeks, let it run for two weeks. And, um, and, and same end time, go, go, go 6 AM on the, um, on the start time and the, and the end time. Okay, cool. So 6 AM, 6 AM, 17th. And you know what? Um, March 3rd, I would probably, you know, rather than actually, no, yeah, go ahead and keep it that simple. Keep it 150, 150, two weeks, two weeks. That's fine. I was going to say cut the March 3rd. I was going to say cut it at, Feb at the end of February, but but let it let it run the full two weeks. Okay, cool. So 6 a.m., 6 a.m. And, and Facebook will just kind of spend that 150 over the next two weeks. Every day will be a little different, but they'll spend it over over accordingly um, and make sure that every every Should dollar. Should I always do lifetime? What's that? Should I always do it like a lifetime budget? Yeah, good question. Yeah, yeah, lifetime, lifetime, because you give Facebook the flexibility to spend it accordingly to spend it based on the traffic a lot of times people will put daily and force facebook to spend it within that 24-hour period when every day of trap every it's there's a different amount of traffic on facebook every day like like for example even with with us like i'm not on it i'm on it all damn day but there, but it's different right so that's how it is overall so giving facebook lifetime and just letting them spend it however the hell they want as long as they spend it that that's kind of what we seem to be better so lifetime Actually, no, it's not. It's not three hundred. It's it's one hundred and fifty because we're going to test two different ads. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I was just seeing what that what that did to this. Oh yeah, don't even look at those numbers right now. Those numbers don't. They ain't going to tell you nothing on those numbers right now, especially only because it's it's new. Like this is this is new. So as as Facebook really starts to optimize and and find your audience, then then those numbers will actually really make sense. But I wouldn't worry about none of that right now. So scroll down, and so what we're going to do here is um go up a little bit so the custom audiences right here custom audiences that's where you'll start so not on this ad because this is the first one but as you move forward that's where you're you're including your custom audiences so watch if you click inside that box custom audiences you'll see your custom audiences which are just the two so in the future you'll start retargeting video viewers you'll start retargeting web page visitors and then you'll exclude, you'll click that exclude, and you'll always want to exclude your, um, your leads. And another audience to, to create as well is your, is your appointments. Anyone who has came through your calendar and actually scheduled an appointment, that, sh that lead should be in an audience as well. I would be excluding that audience as well. Um, who are you, what do you use for your calendar? Or who do you, like what software or whatever? Calendly. Calendly? Mm -hmm. Are you on the, are you on the paid version? Yeah. Okay. 
find out if, well, actually, well, you should be able to, do you know if you put your pixel on that page? Uh, I think so. Um, Here's what's so important. Let's test your calendar real quick. Let me show you what this, what, what, what this is about. Um, subscribe to the, um, to the paid version. Okay. So I don't think it's still pixel on here yet. Yeah, so so go ahead and go through the through, through the scheduling. Let me show you what this means. Go through the scheduling, and this really isn't a isn't a make or break because this audience really isn't going to be the biggest biggest. It's not like it's not like thousands of people are scheduling with you or hundreds of people are scheduling with you. So it's not going to be the biggest audience, but I mean, it's still worth creating an audience. So for example, as you go through and schedule, so just schedule whatever, schedule whatever. See, so right now. If you look at that link at the top, look at your very your, your link at the very, very top, calendly.com forward slash Skyler Lemons slash 60 minute. That's the link. So if you continue, so go ahead and confirm, go ahead and go through the process, put your name, email. It's still 60 minutes at the top. It's still the same link. And then and then it switches to invitees. And then and then so is that is that it? That's the confirmation page. Okay, so then that link at the top. Well, here's the deal. It's not going to fully. It's not going to fully work, anyways. It's not. It's actually not. It's actually not with Calendly, because that's not your. That's not your. That's not your dot com. That's Calendly's dot com. Yeah, and this. Yeah. yeah. Right. So then we might have to just skip this part because that domain needs to be registered with with Facebook, and and it, and you can't register that that domain. That's Calendly's. Okay, so we'll skip the calendar. That's fine, but. But your other lead audiences, yeah, for sure. Those will be the ones that you exclude. Okay, so we'll leave that as is. So that's the audiences in the future. You'll start including, start excluding, and then scroll down. Locations, United States. Go ahead and switch that out to um, to to your your specific area. And whatever you whatever you whatever you actually go with as far as your targeting, stick with that. Um, so take out the United States, X that out, and then and then just What's best is really just is really putting in hit that drop down people living in. So you'll see four different options here and every, each one is very, very different. So you'll always want to go with people living in this location. Um, and then what's good is not just even not just putting in the city, like the name, but actually going off of an off of an address like that, that works too. So whatever whatever you're building or whatever you're like, wherever you like, maybe your neighbor's house or, or maybe the office address or whatever, or maybe the damn Starbucks at the corner, whatever, like putting in an actual address and, and letting Facebook build your 15 mile radius around that is, is good too. Rather than just putting the word Chicago, you know what I mean? Because I'll put the address in. right there, search locations. So you just type in search, no, no, below the drop down. Yeah, right there. So just type in you could type in an address or, or again, the city, it's up to you, but you have to go 15 miles. So, so that's the thing about this, right? I get all of this. Um, yeah. You get all the water. So I think I really should probably do an Oak line address. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So see if you can, if you could find that. Yeah. So here. Maybe just taking out the word Chicago or or adding whatever is going to help you know what what ad this is, bro. That's all the titling is like. So you can look at that title and know exactly what ad that is. Because if you don't title it the right way, then you're going to have to click look into the damn thing just to find out where the hell you were targeting when you could have just named it. You know what I mean? So Chicago Ridge, perfect, one hundred and fifty. So that right there becomes your area, man. That that's what I would stick with from this point on um, is targeting this area. So scroll down. So you got, you got the title, you got the custom conversion, you got the budget, you got the calendar, you got the location. You cannot change age. You cannot change gender. Um, if anything, yeah, and, and you don't even want to chart, change detail targeting. Um, you can, you can narrow it in on the detail targeting with some keywords, but when you're targeting just a local area, like sometimes it's not even worth narrowing it down because then it narrows down too, too small where it's like your audience ain't, ain't big enough at all. So if anything, just stick with that. No detail targeting. Okay, so now scroll down. So we got placements, automatic placement versus manual placement. So automatic placement, it does say they're recommended, but it's kind of, it's this part's all about testing as well. Is 
is is is unchecking a few to see if that might have if that targeting might have been better. So automatic placement is leaving everything checked. Facebook will place that ad everywhere. And it's not like Facebook, because Facebook, they're, the way I look at it too, man, is, is they're a partner with us. Like they're not just trying to blow our money. They're a partner with us. They're only going to put this ad where people are going to watch it because that's how they make money. So they're not going to just splat your shit all over the place and just blow your budget. Some people think that, but they're, they're trying to make money as well. So they're going to make sure that it's, it's being engaged. Like the ad is actually being engaged. And if it's not, then they push it to another platform to see if it's there or they'll push it to the marketplace or they'll push it to the feed or whatever. So, so they're, they're working with us as well, but sometimes manually you can kind of put your consumer hat on. And that's what I do here. I put my consumer hat on and I'm like, shit, when's the last time I clicked on anything in the Instagram shop? When's the last time I ever clicked on anything on the right-hand column? Right. So I'll put my consumer hat on and really kind of use myself as this and be like, dude, I don't I'm not in the marketplace. I know I know millions of people are, but but I'm not really there. And so and and that's not really the best way to judge it based on what you do. But then again, it kind of is because we're just, we're consumers. So I know what the hell I'm clicking on and what I'm not looking at. You know what I mean? So when the budget isn't isn't like hundreds of dollars like as far as in a given campaign this one's just it's 150 sometimes good to to narrow it in and maybe just go maybe just go with with just a just a few of them but but to tell you the truth to tell you the truth it's here's the best way to do it either either you're going to leave it on automatic placement or you're going to edit and uncheck everything except for the feed so 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 if anything, if you're if you're going to be unchecking, uncheck everything except for the Facebook news feed, because the Facebook news feed that's where that's where all the attention is at. Not even the Facebook video feed. Oh, you heard. Right. Yeah, I I actually I watch the Facebook video feeds. I I actually do. I, I I think a lot, and I think a lot of people do. Is is we're all watching the Facebook video feed now as well. So that, that's that's a good place to put it. What's that? You don't think the stories. Facebook stories. Yeah. People are watching Facebook stories as well. Um, but the thing about the Facebook stories is, is if the video is longer than a minute, or I think it's even shorter. I think if the video is like longer than 30 seconds, the full thing doesn't play. So the feed is where, is where it would play. And then, and then also another form of testing. So this is one form of testing, either automatic and leave everything checked or edit and uncheck everything and only go with the feed. That's a form of testing. So on your next ad, maybe you want to go with automatic and let Facebook check everything and just see how those numbers look. And then, and then on a, on a, and on a separate, on a completely separate ad, maybe you want to test Instagram only, right. And only run an ad on Instagram and see how that performs. So, so the testing is not really, is not really your budget. The testing is not really the location that you're targeting the testing really is going to come down with your, your actual ad, the video, right? The video, and then also the placement. That's your form of testing. So, so here, yeah, let's, let's, let's test. And, and so here's what we'll do at the very, very top in the title. Let's, let's, let's go to the very, very top. And let's also add, we put Chicago Ridge dash 150, put dash um, feed only or FB feed only. Right. That way you can look at it and know, okay, well, shit, that ad, it's only going to the feed. Right. So, so this is one form of testing for sure. Yeah. I'd rock with that Facebook feed. Let that, let it, let it, let all the attention go there. Perfect. So scroll down. We're good there. Um, nothing to do there. So now we'll hit next. That was step two. That's the, the ad set level. That's step two. Now, as we come to the third and final step, you can name it at the top, but really it's just, seller video ad you can just put that at the top the the, the title seller video ad um and then add your instagram placement go ahead and click on that just for just for future just that way you have it connected yeah so go ahead and continue and then there's your there's your ig perfect okay cool and then create ad click on that drop down create ad and you should see um use existing ad, use existing post we'll go with that one and then um, select post right there at the bottom. 
and then you'll see your post right over here. Perfect. So you just click on that, hit continue. Okay, perfect. And then, and then what we have not done yet. So again, what we spent time on on yesterday was really the first the first step, which is creating the custom conversion. We also put together a couple audiences yesterday, but in this case today, with this with this actual video, actually yesterday we put the post up on the page, we set up the custom conversion. That's really step one. Step two is coming over here and actually setting up the ad, which we're 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 ninety nine point nine percent done. We 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 use existing post. We put it up there. In fact, we are done. Hit publish. You're done. That's it. So it's just it's just connecting that video. Scrolling. Actually, scroll down a little bit. Let's look at the. We gotta add the, we gotta add the website. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Add button. That's the last part. Is add the button. Click on add button and then put your website in. This is step two, the actual ad, and then this and then step three, which will be the final step once once we click publish, will be creating a custom audience around this video. And what you'll want to do too is bookmark your page, bookmark your seller guide page. Cause yeah, you want to bookmark that page. You don't want to log into Kajabi all the time. Okay, perfect. So this link over here, you'll go and double click it. Yeah, double click it. Make sure you copy the whole link. In this case, we're going to get the HTTPS and all that. Actually, um, yeah, try to find that link. Okay, awesome. So we'll paste that one in, hit update post, and then you'll click on publish. And then right here below, website events, you'll always want to make sure that that's checked as well. So scroll down a bit below tracking, website events. That's checked. SkylarLemons.com. That's the actual pixel, the one four four one four four seven. And then double check your page real quick. Go to your go to your page. Is your page open? The actual page. Open yeah, up another tab. Just double check that pixel. So yeah, paste it in. Actually, no, the the the, the your landing page. So just paste paste. Yeah, paste that. I think you got it copied already. Are there? Yeah, that one. So seller guide. Uh, no, I think the download is your is your thank you page. But um, just double check that pixel real quick. So this is this is ending in one four four seven the pixel. So yeah, so just um, yeah, copy that. Actually, that yeah, it is download. So copy that. Paste that in, double check that pixel. So this is the opt-in page, not the not the thank you page. Please click the link below. This is your thank you page. So what's your opt-in page? Actually, well, shit, man. I think you did. Is that the link you grabbed that you put in the ad? You might want to double check that. So there's the opt-in. Yeah, you might have put the wrong link. Yeah, all you're doing really is just double checking that pixel helper. So just um yeah, open. Yeah, let's change that real quick. Change, paste in that new one. So what you always want to do is just it's just double check the the pixel helper. Okay, cool. Okay, so yeah, just go back yeah can you open this browser up real quick and then and then just just open up a new tab and go to that link go to your page yeah right here just paste in okay so just yeah so go ahead and check that pixel helper so the pixel we're looking for ends in one four four seven so just always double check that there it goes there perfect so you're good you're good okay awesome so now go back to ads manager and let's just let's just finish this thing. So you're good there. The website events, and then scroll down offline events. You're good, and then publish. Okay, cool. So that was that was what I call step two. Step one was setting up the custom conversion, was putting the post on the business page. Right. Step one, and then step two, setting up the ad, scheduling it to go live tomorrow. Once we click on publish, sometimes it gets stuck like this. So when you see it getting stuck, publishing one of three, open up another tab. Leave this here. Open up another tab. 
and go back to the ads manager. So let's just go back to the ads manager. That happens quite often is, is it'll get stuck like that in the publishing mode. But if you open up another tab and, and then just go back to the ads manager, you'll see it in the top right in the blue, you'll see a blue button. And those are your three, the three steps that were stuck. So right over here, as this opens up, you'll see the blue button in the top right. And we should see the number three. And all you're gonna do is just click on that button and then you can publish it there. Okay, so there goes that blue button. So that's what's stuck is those three tabs, the three steps. So just click that blue button and then um, you'll, you'll publish from here. So hit the blue one and then you'll see a green button I think, I think it's green. Yeah, publish. Okay, cool. So publish it here. And then you'll see publishing one of three and then it'll, the blue will turn to green. Once it fully publishes, there's a green. So now you're good. So step two, again, was, was, was setting up the ad. Now what we're going to do real quick, step three, the final step is to create the custom audience around that new video. So as this ad goes out, we want to collect all that data of those who are watching at least 15 seconds of it that becomes a custom audience that you'll use in your next ad as far as the retargeting. So hit the three lines in the top left and go to your audiences. And let's just add that whiteboard audience. So audiences, and then all we're gonna do is just click on, I think it's the blue button. Yeah, so click on that blue button, create audience and it's the top one custom audience. And then over here, you're going with video. So yesterday we did website. Today we, we're going to go with video. And really those are the two that you'll always work with is, is website and video. So there, hit the drop down and go with 15 seconds. And then choose videos at the top, top right. Choose videos. And then you'll see that video. And then confirm. And then the 365, the retention, you want to drop that down, drop it way, way down. I would drop it down. To, in your case, I would drop it down, not 18. I would probably drop it down to maybe maybe, maybe 30 days or, or 45 days, the max. And, and all that is, is, is just keeping the, the most, the, keeping the newest people in the audience at all times. So if you watched my video in the past 45 days, you're going to get another ad. You're going to be in this audience. You're going to see another ad, right? So audience name. What I typically do is, is name it exactly what that video was. So whiteboard video, whiteboard video, or seller guide whiteboard, whiteboard video, something like that, whatever's going to help you, you know, know whiteboard seller video, and then in parentheses, 15 seconds. Perfect. And then nothing in the description. That's all. Create audience. And that's it, man. So posting the, 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 the ad on the page, creating the custom conversion around the thank you page, setting up the ad, and then the third, create the custom audience. That's it, man. So from this point on, it's all about just what I would do if I were you, bro, is I would really, really build the discipline of, 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 of picking a day out of the week where a new video needs to be on that page. So, so I would go maybe off of today. What today's Wednesday? So maybe that's your day. Every Wednesday, a new video needs to be on that page. I would focus one thousand percent on that rather than posting all week on freaking seven different platforms. I would rather do one a week, one video a week. Every Wednesday, I have a new video on this business page. And in and, and some weeks, you'll 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 need to use it as an ad. Some some weeks, you may not use it as an ad. Cause this first one might be performing and you might not have to put out that second one. You know um, I, I typically break it down weekly, but in this case, what we're kind of doing is, is, is bi-weekly, right? That's what we kind of chose to do on this one. It's 300 for the month, 150 times two. Okay, cool. Well then there, well then maybe, 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 maybe plan on having that next video done two weeks from now on Wednesday, on Wednesday. Right. But actually, actually stick to it. Right. Like, I, I, I say go weekly so you can really build that muscle and, and, and discipline really was what it is. It's really just, it's really just building the discipline because you will forget, bro. Like you, like when's the last time we really chopped it up? It's been a minute, yeah. right? Life gets in the way, shit happens. So you have to really, really, really put aside time and, and really stay focused on it because that's where everyone drops the bomb, man. And that's why I kind of spend time on it.
because where you're going to end up dropping the ball is, is you're going to, you're going to lack, lack the consistency of that content. That's what's going to happen. It's not the technical part. You know how to run the ad. Now you did. Uh, that's everything where everyone drops the ball is they don't put out that next one. Got it. Okay. Yeah. No. So every time I get a haircut, I'm just come home and start making videos. Bro. Hell yeah. Keep it like that. When we get a fresh cut, we coming home and we cut a fresh video too. That's the day. That's the plan. Right. That's, that's how you should really, really stick to it, bro. And, 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 and what's going to happen is you're going to just build this, 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 this confidence. You're going to build this muscle of, of discipline and you're going to build, you're going to build a whole library of videos that are set, that are, that are ready to, to deploy at any minute. You're going to just start stacking. And that's what I do on the YouTube side. Like I have videos stacked and, and ready to, ready to, to, to deploy, you know? Um, so that's how you kind of want to look at this, man. It's all about the content, but you're targeting a local area, so just just keep it keep it fresh, and 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 leads will start coming in. Cool, man. So let that one let that one go live. Keep me posted. Keep me posted, and just make sure everything on the back end is working, man. Make sure that make sure that when when that when that lead hits that land or when that person hits that landing page, that lead that comes in, make sure notifications are on. Make sure that that email automation is on. Right. Make sure that these leads are being nurtured. And, and, and make sure that I wouldn't just have seven emails in the follow up, follow up. I'd have 77. So that's okay. another thing you want to work on is the emails. Yeah. So you said, cause I remember you were saying that you had all that stuff set up. So, so do you already have the emails set up and written out? I do, but I have it in, in Kartra. Like I have it in Kartra where I just, I just, I'm able to just connect and just send over the entire thing to you. Um, it's a whole system. So it's a whole software. So I, I'm able to just transfer it to an account. Um, that's why I wish you were using that one, but, but Kajabi is cool too. But in, in this case with Kajabi, you have to use multiple softwares. You're using one for the landing page. You're using a different one for the email automation. You're using a different one for the calendar. That's why I don't go the Kajabi route. Cause I'm, I'm going to need all these damn softwares with Kartra. It's all in one. Let me ask you this. Is this somebody whose system I could just subscribe to? And then as I get the emails, I could add them to my, Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do it that way. I'll send you a link. I'll send you a link, a link to just opt in, and then you can just start picking what emails you want to copy and save. All right. Thank you. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So keep me posted on this one, bro. And and, and if anything, like let's let's for sure like chop it up in a in a couple of weeks and, and set the next one. Let's do that. Like put a put or, or schedule a call with me or keep my calendar in two weeks. Let's run that second ad. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. And we'll go from there. All right, talk to you. Right on, Skylar. I'll be a message away, bro. Let me know if you need anything else. Okay, man. Peace.